This happened to be an incident where Harlow almost pulled Jack into the fountain. Revisiting places where she's had past issues, like the fountain. y'all it is a gorgeous day judd and i have made it to orlando we have unpacked our stuff at ann's house my awesome mother-in-law we've rested getting ready to go do some disney just looking for my dog and husband and are you even supervising you're taking a video of it harlo <laughs> and you just take a video you're taking a video <laughs> Harlow, <laughs> stop landscaping. <laughs> Leave the dog with the husband and mischief occurs. It's like the mud thing all over again. Started here and then she ended here. <laughs> Harlow. Got a muddy mouth. <laughs> Anyways, we are gonna go get early dinner, late lunch. But look y'all, I am still rocking the wavy hair. I'm loving it. What do you think, babe? Do you like my hair? Yeah, looks cute. Good answer, babe. <laughs> you hear that, babe? Sounds like my truck. <laughs> that is the sound of a happy, well-exercised dog. Mud-filled dog. And water-filled, so we gotta remember to give her a potty break shortly after we get there. <laughs> what about the mud? Mud, I don't know. That just stays with her. <laughs> we're back, yay! The last time we were here was for our vacation where we stayed on property at Shades of Green. It was a lot of fun. It's been just over a month since we've been to Disney, baby. We haven't gone that far in between Disney trips in a long time. This summer. Oh yeah. The whole 100 days you were in the hospital. Oh yeah. Never mind. Remember all that? Yes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hippo is in work mode. We are at Disney Springs. Such a nice day. Oh. Happy we're here. Got to get Jack's favorite poutine, which is awesome, pretty good. So um, she's waiting over there at the barbecue place, which is over yonder, and uh, I'm getting her poutine. The polite pig, which is basically just like if hipsters took over a barbecue joy. It's pretty good though. It looks so good. Poutine, which is like French fries with. Uh... <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what was that? Is that a name? Yep, Harlow. Harlow. Oh, I'm sorry, she's working. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we got some poutine, which is like French fries with a gravy sauce. This one has some mushrooms in it. How's the brisket? Pretty good. This barbecue place is one of Judd's favorite because he always eats here. We have eaten. How do you feel? I feel good. Good, happy. We passed a German Shepherd police dog and Harlow and the Shepherd kind of looked at each other and they were like, you're working, I'm working. <laughs> and they were, stayed focused. And as I was wheeling myself out of the restaurant, Judd was grabbing a refill and his drink. So it was just me and Harlow wheeling out. This person stopped me and they said, you know, I'm just really impressed with how well behaved your dog is because she's listening to you and you're in a wheelchair. And I was like, I am in a wheelchair and they go well I mean it's just so easy for a dog to take advantage of you or like overpower you or disobey you but she's so obedient I was like how are you seize the opportunity yeah. <laughs> take control of the family take <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of thought about it and I was like you know obviously I'm used to Harlow listening so well but it, it is impressive she's a good dog and I worked hard training her so I don't know it was a nice compliment <laughs> apparently dogs could be like Lannisters so like Lannisters <laughs> Harlow, Harlow is not manipulative like a Lannister. <laughs> We're talking about Game of Thrones if you don't know. Harlow, watch me. Hippo, watch me. Come buddy. What? 
Carla. She's my favorite princess. I feel like we have a lot in common. <laughs> So when uh, Carla was like eight months old, Jack took her here for training because it's a great training place. And uh, this happened to be an incident where Carla almost pulled Jack into the fountain because as we all know, Carla loves water. So. Success! So, uh, ah! Uh, Judd told y'all there was an incident with that fountain when Harlow was much younger and in training Just walking by it no problem and then all of a sudden she starts like clawing at the ground like I must get in the water was, like, She almost pulled me in y'all and so we made sure to focus on that and solidify her obedience and attention around water her impulse control and as y'all saw Not distracted I was like proud moment it's like when Family guy when Peter was a firefighter. And he like goes, everyone goes down the fire pole, but he goes up and he's like, sorry, sorry, still <laughs> learning. <laughs> it's Harlow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously we've revisited that fountain many times in the span of her training and working life and other things of water. So she's good, but I just remember that incident so much because it was one of the more obvious, like, oh, she's definitely not fully trained yet. <laughs> One of the biggest mess ups of her in training life. It was so funny though. Well, Obviously, she's more solid and mature now. I think it's just... it would have been funny if you guys both went in. <laughs> no, that would not have been funny. It's just nice to revisit and be like, she's got this. And uh, it's a funny memory. But service dogs are not robots. They can still have bad days and moments. Um, they just seem to happen more often, obviously, when they're in training. <laughs> She looks kind of tired. Do y'all see it? Seven. Do y'all see it? Turtle on the rock. <laughs> Turtle on the rock. And he's underneath the big balloon. Leave it. Very good. It's a dog in a sweater over there. We're in the Sprinkles Bakery and it smells like straight up sugar in here. So many things. That's what I got. This is the red velvet bread pudding. And this is a pup cake for hippos. Um, let's give it to her now, she's been good. She knows it's for her too. I'm taking the wrapper eyes. off. Taking the wrapper off because she'll eat it with the wrapper. You, you get a pup cake? Oh, she ate the whole thing in one bite. Oh, <laughs> she ate it already. <laughs> is it good? She like that. All right, now I get to try mine. Carla, that is not for you. Definitely not. Mm. It's warm and delicious. That's a happy dog. And that, I didn't really make much uh, headway in this. You're like two bites. But I creatively wrapped it with a hair tie and the pup cape wrapper so we can take it home. <laughs> so I'm very impressed with Harlow's behavior. She's doing really well, which... <laughs> I don't really expect anything else. It's just nice to recognize that. Hi, Doof. You're such a good dog. And revisiting places where she's had past issues, like the fountain, and seeing how well she does now, it's a good feeling, you know? And it takes about two years to fully train a service dog, but they never really stop training because you have to keep up with established skills. And I feel that Disney is a great place to do this because everything's here. You've got crowds and kids and food on the floor and loud noises and water features fireworks what what have you you have like everything at disney and it's a good place to solidify skills and keep training and i'm really happy with uh what a wonderful working dog harlow has matured into that being said you obviously don't have to have access to disney or theme parks to properly train a service dog there are tons of different ways to train. It's just nice that since Judd and I live nearby and we have passes, we can take advantage and I can enjoy the park more because I've got my furry guardian angel with me. Look at the balloons! I like them. Hippo? Husband? Yeah. Ready to go home. 
Must you do that every I'm time? <laughs> I'm good too. <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> she just sneezed in Judd's face. She kicked Judd out of bed. She's very cute. This bed isn't as big as the one at home though, Hippo. You don't fit with us. <laughs> she used to. This used to be the bed at home. We used to make it work, but now it seems so small <laughs> compared to what we have. <laughs> Alright, anyways, we're off to bed. Say so, like, goodnight. And thanks for joining us on our adventure.